<laughs> Tickets are back. Yes. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Stress here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking all about events. What's going on? Let me tell you. Things are back. Things are happening. Events are going to go on. Tickets are being bought, sold, traded, transferred. All the things are happening with tickets. So with events going back online, there are three main things you need to know to make sure there are no surprises when you're going back to those events. Let's begin. Number one, seating manifests. Seating manifests are basically how they lay out the entire event, the venue, where you're allowed to actually sit and where you're not allowed to sit. As we've discussed in other videos, there are certain protocols in place to ensure people are seated within a certain distance away from each other. So generally it's about six feet. As different events and different venues start opening up further and further, they're slowly adding more and more available seats into the venue. So there's a lot of seats that are coming available and it's really important to know that seating manifests, how they actually lay out the different event, it's constantly changing. And as a result, you gotta be very careful when you're buying your tickets because these seating manifests are very fluid, very liquid. So the seat you may be buying may actually end up moving. So you gotta make sure you pay attention to all the news going on. With Major League Baseball, almost every single team has now announced that they are gonna have some level of fans in attendance, but with that, they still make sure that everybody's staying safe, staying good distance apart. So, the seating manifest, they are constantly moving where the people are actually allowed to sit, where they're not allowed to sit. And even just recently, MLB, they actually had to cancel a whole bunch of events and just reissue all the barcodes, all the seats for them because seating manifests were just, it was just too much. They had announced, oh, this venue will only allow 10%, this venue will allow 25%, this venue will allow 15%. And then they said, oh no, we need to, we need to make some tweaks and changes because, oh, they're too close to the players or, oh, I think this person's sitting too close to that other guy over there. And then... There's just, there's too many things going on. So with all these leagues trying to rush to get people back into events and venues, it's possible that there may be some issues and errors as they, you know, slowly get themselves back up and running. So with that, make sure again, you double check your seats, both when you initially buy them and two, before you actually go to the event, double check, make sure your seats are still where they're supposed to be. It is possible that they have changed. So again, you know, pay attention, check your emails, check your alerts, check your text messages, just stay informed, make sure your seats are where they're supposed to be. Number two, make sure you pay attention to any rules or disclosures that relate to getting into that event. Every single venue, every single state, every single province, every single country, they're all running different types of requirements to get into events. Sometimes it might be, you know, have to get a negative PCR test. Other times it could just be, you know, do a self-assessment before you get into the venue. Could be temperature checks, could be a whole slew of different things. So again, you gotta make sure you double check what are the requirements to actually get into that event so that you aren't gonna be denied at the gate. That would be bad. Don't. We don't want that. It's really interesting, right? So some venues will say, no, no need to actually show us a negative test. Just come in, make sure you do a questionnaire beforehand before you even get here. Other venues though, they're actually even being more cute. They're not just saying, oh, you need a negative PCR test to get into the venue. Some of them are saying you need a negative PCR test just to sit within certain regions or of the, of the arenas if you're getting too close to the players. Mm. They want to make sure that their players are protected. They want to make sure that you're protected. They want to make sure everybody's protected. So they put these rules in place to make sure that you have that negative test. So if you show up to the venue, they say you need a negative PCR test and you say, I don't have one. That could be bad. So again, double check before you go to the event what the requirements are to actually get into the building so you don't have any issues getting through that gate. And lastly, number three, we're talking about ticket transferability. So some teams, some venues, some events, they are limiting the ability to actually transfer tickets, sell tickets, move tickets to you know friends and family. They're basically saying, hey, everybody who's going to this event, if you buy a ticket, it's your ticket. You can't give it to anybody else because what they're trying to get at is really contact tracing and saying, you know, we want to make sure that the people who are buying these tickets, we know who they are, we know where they're sitting, we know they're going to be at all times. We need to know everything about you and we don't want you giving your tickets to anyone else. In theory, this sounds like a great idea. Unfortunately, it can lead to some potential problems. Say you get sick, for example, your friends can't make it, your family can't go with you anymore. You, you just don't want to go to the event anymore. You don't feel comfortable. Uh, if your tickets are not able to be transferred along, then it could be a problem where you're just stuck with these tickets that are worth nothing. Can't sell them, can't get rid of them. They're just it's garbage, essentially. Garbage! You won't find this too often, but it does trickle in here and there. I've been seeing it with season seat holders specifically. They've been having the issue where they aren't actually eligible to transfer these seats. So again, double check, take some time. Before you buy those tickets, make sure you see what the rules and restrictions are, if there are any, because you don't want to end up in the situation where you're stuck with some tickets because they said you can't move them. And all those are basically the three main things you need to know before you go ahead and actually start getting into events. Because if you aren't informed, you're going to run into some problems. You won't be able to get into the event. You're going to be sitting next to someone where you're not supposed to be. You're sitting in the wrong seats. There could be a whole lot of problems. And we don't want nobody to have some problems. Now, 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below so I can go ahead and make some more videos for you guys. If you really love this video though, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well because that number, that button, it's, it's feeling a little bit lonely. I think it needs a bit of love, so just, just, just tap it. Just Tap it in, just, 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 just tap it. I'll wait for you. Perfect. All right, and I think that kind of covers everything. So, see you guys next time.